Welcome back to Amazing Websites Television, the show where intelligent people like you can find the tools to change the rules. So perfect. So I was I was saying we're going to be covering how to create, run, and profit from your own uh, web TV show. Um, I think um, uh, you're going to find a lot of information very useful. Um, I try to to put as much as possible only um, uh, really applicable content. So I really was uh, going through all the things that I wanted really to cover uh, throughout the, throughout this webinar. So you're going to really be benefiting tremendously from this. So let me just uh, quickly get uh, get started with uh, with this. And uh, well, I actually found a very interesting article in um, uh, in Business Week in Bloomberg. It's uh, it's a little bit old, but actually it does it does have the, the the question that I wanted to raise, which is, do you actually need your own web TV show? Well, the answer is no. You don't really need a web TV show, but I'm going to tell you the benefits of actually having a web TV show. Um, I've been running now a web TV show already for um, for almost a year, and uh, it's really has has uh, done a lot of very good stuff for me. So that's exactly what I'm going to be uh, telling you about. This the web TV show obviously is not needed. Really, that you really have to have a, the, the the web TV show. But what happens is that the moment that you uh, have one, you uh, I mean a lot of things are going to start changing in your uh, business now. The first question that people ask me about it is how do you actually monetize uh, a, a, web, a web TV show? So uh, basically, there's two ways of monetizing a web TV show. You can monetize it um, tangibly, or you can uh, monetize it intangibly. So basically, there's there's uh, two different uh, uh, ways. Now, the reason why the web TV show is so uh, useful is uh, if you think about it, it is the equivalent of, um, uh, for example, having a, a book in the past. I mean, when you were a uh, published author, you obviously got authority right away. Right now, we know, okay, you can really have a website, uh, sorry, a, a book uh, printed and a book created, but in reality, uh, what happens is that that um, uh, you're, uh, I mean, you're not going to be 100% uh, effective with the book because of course the book cannot have the possibility of traveling like your web TV show so uh, the moment that you get your own web TV show you you have the way of penetrating a lot of doors that you will not be able to penetrate a book could do that but the problem is of course because it's a physical thing it's a little bit more complicated uh, to do so uh, that's why you have to see this monetization um, uh, story with the tangible part and the intangible part on the on the tangible part, the way that you can monetize a web TV show is through uh, sponsorship uh, and also through affiliate uh, links and also through advertising if you would like to have it like that. I mean, I have never really advertised on my show nor on the website that actually hosts the show. I definitely have some uh, uh, affiliate links and uh, I am right now in the process of getting started with the uh, sponsorship. Mind you, um, uh, that is not really the, the most exciting thing because obviously I mean if I am making let's say a couple of hundred dollars per episode on the intangible part uh, that would be a lot uh, I, I think the moment that I'm going to start uh, doing the the um, um, you know getting sponsors then obviously I mean I'm going to start getting a little bit more money but that of course is not what really helps you tremendously on on having a web TV show so the best way to do it is to actually have uh, the and actually focus on the uh, on tangible monetization. See, I will explain to you the whole on tangible monetization, which basically it's uh, penetrating and growing your business through you becoming an authority uh, on the web TV show. Basically, um, uh, the web TV show. I mean, right now my show uh, when I started. I mean, I started having a few. Uh, hundred people which were only on my internal list watching the show and then right now it is grown to about 3,000 people to watch it every week plus on top of that I am also getting about 700 or 800 people downloading the podcast from a number of platforms including iTunes so every week I mean I am in front of 4,000 people on a regular basis 
And uh, of course, I mean, this has given me a lot of opportunities in, uh, I mean, I have got uh, speaking engagements, I have got uh, consulting gigs, I have, uh, I have got um, uh, interviews uh, in the radio and a number of different other things that I have got um, uh, through the intangible part. So has my, gro has my business benefited from the web TV show? The answer is yes. Uh, is it really quantifiable, the amount of, uh, of money that it has made me? The answer is no. However, obviously, I mean, I know the tremendous exposure that it has given me, and obviously, I know that if I would have wanted to, to pay for that on PR or uh, in other tools, it would have just been very difficult. So the focus on the monetization of, um, of a web TV show should be a lot more on the uh, on tangible part than on the tangible part, and this is what we're going to be uh, talking about now. Why uh, is it a good idea to actually st uh, get started on uh, doing a web TV show? Well, uh, even though that you don't need it, it's a very good idea to actually get one. Um, and I will tell you exactly how it is done. The reason why you should actually consider it is because right now, I mean, we can see tremendously that YouTube and, for example, the other um, uh, YouTube, sorry, YouTube, and you, we can see the other platforms also. They're growing tremendously in the amount of visits that they're, that, that they're having. Uh, so I, for me, the, the ones that I consider here the, the, the most important are obviously YouTube, which I will explain you how it is used on this, on this uh, uh, strategy, and also, of course, iTunes, um, uh, YouTube Mobile, Daily Motion. Obviously, I mean, it is important for me to be there, but that is not really my um, uh, strongest uh, focus. Let me tell you why am I actually so excited about this. Uh, about a year ago, uh, I bought myself a um, uh, Google TV, a Sony Google TV, and I really, really liked it. And uh, right now, most of the television I watch on this TV show and on this TV is not really coming from any of the networks, or it's not coming from uh, uh, a cable, from from uh, you know, it's not HBO, or it's not or it's not uh, um, anything like that. What I am actually seeing is a, a niche TV, which are the TV shows that I like to watch. I mean, TV uh, TV shows about leadership, TV shows about um, uh, marketing, TV shows about business building, TV shows about entrepreneurship. So I have a number of TV shows that I like watching and all of them are on a web TV format which I managed to watch on my Google TV and this is actually going, uh, uh, growing at steadier and obviously I mean I know that this is more or less the direction where, more, uh, that where we're going. I mean right now more and more people are actually watching uh, their their uh, TV their web TV shows through their Google TV or also through their uh, tablets. Now let me just show you so that you can actually see. I mean, there's I I really have no clue how many uh, shows there are, but there's a lot of shows. Uh, previously, for example, if you will think about having a um, uh, having a, a a TV show on a network, it will cost you a lot of money because obviously it was going to be transmitting to a lot of people and it was very difficult to make it niche. Uh, right now what happens is that, for example, I mean, you can have uh, all sorts of different websites. I mean, fitness television, you can have collectibles, a holistic success uh, at Denmark, a TV about Denmark, a TV about internet marketing, uh, health, uh, all sorts of different things. And we, we can see also, for example, I was actually researching and I suddenly saw that my, web, my, my TV show was already featured there. And I thought it was uh, it was actually quite cool on the on Google on Google TV. Then we can see I mean there's all sorts of different shows uh, just appearing at left right and center on a daily basis. There's more and more and more and more shows happening there. And obviously I mean we, I, the list could go on and on and on. And it is uh, basically for people which are really very interested in watching uh, in watching their own interest kind of TV, which in the past it was just absolutely impossible to do. No, you will, you will definitely have to um, uh, spend a lot of money if you wanted to be on the airs with a, with a show like this. Right now, it hardly costs anything and you will be in front of an audience that will really appreciate what you are doing. So, uh, for example, Google TV, you, you can see that throughout the year has really grown um, uh, tremendously in the amount of video play. So, obviously, this is something that makes me very excited because, of course, it's a trend that is going to be helping uh, my show for uh, for it to actually be seen, and if we actually see it, this is the other trend that I find very very interesting. So uh, Google TV and uh, general and, and just a general cable, okay, has been growing. But look, just look at the amount of growth that we can see uh, through uh, uh, watching on mobile and also on tablets. 
I mean, right now, a lot of video shows are actually watched on tablets, and a lot, a lot of the people are actually consuming these kind of videos on tablets. So whenever you're actually putting together a video show, you should take into consideration that people are not going to watch it in front of their computers, but very likely they're going to be watching it on a tablet, on Google TV, or even on their mobile. So I really love this story of the tablets because, I mean, more and more uh, uh, people are really spending a lot of time watching television. This is the way that they consume uh, the, the, uh, the information. And obviously, I mean, the more tablets that there are, the more uh, people will be actually watching uh, your, your show. Now, another interesting thing is what we have always been thinking is, for example, in your desktop, if you're actually in your desktop, I mean, the amount of people that people watch um, uh, uh, whatever video that you have, it just gets shorter because, of course, I don't really like watching videos in front of my computer. Uh, on my mobile, also possibly not my uh, piece of cake, but the longest videos are actually watched on tablets and on Google TV and obviously on general cable. So this is just an important thing for you to take into consideration. Now, let's go a little bit into the platforms, how this is done so that you will understand where we are going and then we're going to try to put all the pieces of the uh, puzzle together. So first of all, you're going to have to work with two different platforms where you're having a web TV show. You are going to be working with uh, YouTube, which is going to be your marketing platform. So YouTube is going to be your marketing platform and you're going to be working with another platform. I have been using Viddler. Uh, um, but I mean, right now they, I mean, I am not really very happy with them because the, the video quality on the tablet is not really very good. So I'm actually going to change for a, another platform, which is really cool, which is called easy web video. Also the, the thing about Viddler is Viddler used to be free. Now they're actually charging. So, I mean, I, I prefer to use uh, this other uh, platform It's called easy web video, which is really very cool, uh, uh platform. And also, I'm going to be using Traffic, Traffic Geyser to distribute the video. I'm going to explain to you how that is done. And obviously, I'm going to be using uh, iTunes. Now, the way that you um, uh, create the, uh, the whole web, uh, web TV show, I'll show you in a moment exactly how it's done. But these are the platforms that you're going to be using. Obviously, you're going to be using a, Word, a WordPress platform. But let me just go through the theory part, and then we actually go into the, uh, into the other uh, uh, practical things so that you see exactly how uh, this is done. So first of all, um, you, you already know the, the platforms. Now, I think the most important thing that we need to know is how do we actually put together a TV show. So for example, I mean, my idea of having the amazing websites TV show was because obviously, I mean, I know that people absolutely love um, uh, resources. I mean, I am every time that I share a new resource that a new resource that I found, uh, people really really like it, and they say, "Well, you know, this is this is absolutely great." So I wrote the book, the amazing, um, amazingly useful websites, and uh, I it, it was very very well received. So I, I thought that the natural transition was to have also a, a web TV show. Also, the content is uh, all over the place. So whatever your niche is. Try to find out a topic that you can keep on coming with new content. So that's an important thing. You will need to you will need to find out. I mean, my suggestion is that you find a TV, uh, a dot TV. I mean, you can have a dot com or you can have a whatever. But the dot TV, obviously, because of course, uh, it is a TV show. It looks really it looks really really cool. Try to keep it to a maximum of two or three uh, uh, words for the domain. And try to get like a, you know a, a nice and friendly uh, SEO name so that it will be a lot easier to actually start generating uh, uh, natural organic traffic. So that's obviously the, the the most important things. The moment that you have that, the moment that you have the name, the moment that you have a little bit the concept, then let me just explain to you the syntax. Now, if you are familiar with NLP, uh, possibly you know exactly what I'm talking about with the syntax. I mean um, the example that. Uh, a lot of uh, trainers on NLP use is uh, basically the, well. I mean, it's not the same to say well uh, the 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 the, um, the dog beat the boy than to say the boy beat the dog. It's a complete different thing. You need to have a certain order because if not, everything will not really go exactly in place. So what I want to give you is the syntax, the specific order in how you need to you you need to put your program so that you will be able to have a uh, nice and watchable TV show. Um, the TV show could last anywhere. I mean, there's a number of different programs, and I will show you some examples in a moment. 
Some of them last three minutes, all of them, uh, and, and some of them could last all the way to 20 minutes. The, the uh, best rule of thumb is that your, that your program lasts anywhere between 15 minutes to 20 minutes. That's the, that's the, the, uh, the, best, uh, the best way for, uh, for your show to actually be watched. And you need to have a certain syntax for people not to switch off. Because, for example, I mean, I know some people that suddenly they put a, a web TV show and they, all they do is have for 25 minutes, they have an interview, and then after five minutes on the interview, you're actually falling asleep. So there's, a, there's actually a uh, specific formula in how you're going to be avoiding uh, this. So let me just go and run through that specific formula. So you're going to, well, let me just go back here to uh, this previous one. Uh, uh, before I tell you a little bit the formula, I have to tell you that you have to actually are gonna you're gonna have five sections of the show. Um, first of all, let's just think that your TV show it's going to be a mix of you being a DJ player. I mean, like uh, like a DJ uh, mixer. No, you're gonna be mixing music like a DJ kind of thing. Obviously, I mean the DJ uh, the DJs are not musicians. They are not the ones which are creating the music. They are the ones which are just playing the stuff, right? The other thing is you are going to be um, uh, you're going to be also playing a little bit the Oprah Winfrey role. So the best combination is to actually when you get both of them, and also you're going to try to have a uh, show that has a number of different segments. This is going to become very important in the marketing. So me, please make sure to to, to make an, uh, a note on that. So, uh, for example, the, the, the platform where you're going to be playing the, the, your video, it's going to be in your website. So, for example, where you're going to go, the show actually plays on amazingwebsites.tv. However, the marketing is not done there. And I will tell you exactly how the marketing is done uh, while we progress through this. So, the first thing that you need to do is, okay, we're going to be doing this, this uh, TV show, and it's going to be, and I'm going to use this the example of my show, then, of course, you will have to think exactly how that, that, is, that translates to you. So in my show, basically, what we do is we say, okay, it's going to be about amazing websites, about Internet literacy, about teaching people how to use the Internet. So I came up with five different segments of the show, and each of these segments can last anywhere between three to five minutes. Now, sometimes I will not be playing every single one of the segments, but it's absolutely critical that you split your video in segments, and I'm going to tell you why in a moment. So the moment that we have now the, the, uh, the name and everything, let me just explain to you what the segments are in my show. See, for example, I have the first segment is, I call it handy bookmarks. So I got my, uh, my um, designer on the Philippines creating this little uh, um, piece so that actually you will know that we're moving into handy bookmarks. And into handy bookmarks, uh, I have this special tune that I, that I play whenever we're actually going to, send, to handy bookmarks. Then I have another, uh, another section of the show that is called One App a Day Keeps Boredom Away. This is everything about uh, apps, while the other one was, you know, about good sites that I, ha that I have found. Then I have another show, another uh, um, section that is called uh, the feature presentation. The feature presentation, basically what it is, is I am repurposing content. For example, I get a video that I found from some website, because right now, I mean, more and more websites are using... Uh, little videos to explain what they do. So what I do is I uh, take away that video from YouTube, I repurpose it and put it there and I present it like the feature presentation of the show. And on the other sections I explain myself the tools or the apps that I am finding. Then this is a very important question. You need to have something like this. It's called, I got a question. I mean, you could, you could call it ask, uh, ask uh, Bonnie or ask Dennis or ask uh, Irina or ask Jason, whatever it is, doesn't matter. I decided to call it, I got a question. This is a very important section of the show because this is where you're going to start implanting, um, uh, you know, some of your, you, you're going to do some of your stealth marketing on it. For example, you say, well, you know, for, for whoever has the best question uh, during the show, I am going to be giving away one free copy of my coaching program or of my book or whatever you want. And then you talk a little bit about the book that they're going to be getting. And because, of course, it is a price, then what happens is that without really making people upset, you're actually doing uh, specifically your, uh, your, sales, your sales presentation. And it's also very useful because, obviously, you can actually answer questions from the, from the people. You can encourage people to ask, to ask you questions. Or you can also come up with your question and invent it yourself and say, well, you know, I got this question the other day, 
and then answer something that possibly might be interesting for them. So this, the I got a question section needs to be there. So you need to find what specifically are going to be your uh, different uh, sections of the show. Then the other section that I have is called special guests and this is the show, this is the section on the show where I actually have uh, that I play the Oprah Winfrey role where I do the, the, uh, the interviewing uh, people and I, the interview, very important, you have to do it, uh, you, it has to be at the longest five or six minutes because interviews could also be very boring. So, I mean, uh, for example, one of, the, one of the things that I use, if I mean, if you're really interviewing something which is very, someone which is very, very interesting, you can record a long interview and take the best pieces out of it and then you say, well, watch the, watch the full interview and then you give them a link to go and watch the full interview. Um, uh, John Stewart on The Daily Show actually uses this strategy and it works out fantastically. Actually, one of the shows that I have watched to, to actually get inspiration to see how to, you know, keep the audience engaged and entertained is watching uh, the, the Colbert Report and also watching um, uh, John Stewart, uh, The Daily Show. I mean, I think, I think that pretty much it's how uh, you get an audience uh, engaged. I mean, watch that show, you're going to really learn quite a lot uh, from them. The next one is uh, Triple Your Internet Intelligence where also what I do is I repurpose content. I uh, go and get tutorials from YouTube and basically I just put tutorials just afterwards there so that I don't have to do and come up with all the content myself. And uh, that is basically how you, uh, those, those are the, the, the different uh, pieces of the, of the, that compose the show. Now, why is it important to actually have different pieces of the show? Well, simple, because remember I was telling you you're going to be using two platforms. The first platform is going to be where you're going to be playing your show and that's going to be your website. But then for the marketing, you're going to be using every other platform there is uh, um, uh, to distribute. But you don't want to distribute the full show, you just want to distribute little bits and pieces of the show and then afterwards you're going to put, uh, uh, um, if you want to watch the whole episode, go to and then you redirect them to your show, if that somehow makes sense. So. Uh, that is actually the most uh, the most important thing that you take into consideration. If you have your five element, your five sections, so then what you do is uh, you either edit it yourself, or you can tell someone to edit it for you, and you edit those five ele five segments, and then you have five pieces of content that you can upload to YouTube or to all the platforms using Traffic Geyser, and you keyword optimize them very well, and then you also SEO optimize them. And then, of course, you have now, from one single episode, you have five videos that are going to be generating traffic to your website. No. So now, for example, in my case, now I have uh, close to 30 episodes, uh, plus an average of four videos that I actually make per episode. So I have 120 videos, which are, of course, generating traffic uh, all the time. And because, of course, in every single one of them, I'm talking about different things, I could actually be uh, very nicely positioned in a number of keywords. So that's one of the ways that you actually generate traffic for your site, for your, for your TV show. The other way to uh, generate traffic for your TV show is uh, obviously social media. I mean, you can post, and the best way to post is to post in groups which are dedicated to your niche in uh, LinkedIn and also in Facebook. Uh, you can also advertise it, but I, I have never really advertised about the show. I mean, it's actually a lot of organic traffic that I keep on getting and also social media traffic. So, now that you see that we have five different pieces of the show, let me just go into the syntax so that you know exactly how it is done. Now, when you finish, what I'm going to ask you is, uh, uh, watching this, what I'm going to ask you is possibly watch one of my episodes so that you will understand exactly how this is done. So I'm going to try to just uh, uh, simply explain to you how it goes. And this, this syntax is in 90% of all the web TV shows that I have seen, give or take. I mean, it's not, uh, it's not uh, uh, an exact science because, of course, everybody wants to change it here and there. But this is more or less how it's going to be working. So first point on the syntax, you're going to have to have a welcome slogan. So, for example, um, in, in, um, uh, in my show, I say, um, welcome back to Amazing Websites Television. This is a show where intelligent people like you can find the tools to change the rules. And then immediately after that welcome slogan, for example, if you will see Andrew Locke's show, he will say, uh, he will also have his own little um, uh, welcome slogan, and everybody should have a welcome slogan. That welcome slogan is going to tell 
people that they are in the right place and obviously I mean after uh, hearing it a number of times it just becomes natural for them to watch it so that's step number one the first thing that you need to have in the show second thing that you need to have in the show is you need to have your video logo intro so for example in my case first of all I come and say my welcome slogan then I go into my video logo intro which is you know that if you have seen the show it's that little world that just starts going around with the music and uh, uh, that it's actually very very easy to be done you can just go to a website called video uh, video hives dot net video hives video hives dot net I think it is you can buy a template and then you can go to Fiverr and in Fiverr they can get it customized it for you and I mean the whole the whole logo is going to cost you no more than fifteen dollars so um, that is actually pretty easy to do then of course I mean you can just uh, uh, look for royalty free music in uh, in also there there you can I think it's called uh, free jungle or something like that but anyway if you don't find it in in uh, uh, video hives you will find a link towards get where to get uh, royalty free music so that we actually will go uh, together with the logo so there we go we, I, you go first the first thing that you do is you appear do the welcome slogan then you do the, the video logo intro then the next thing is you have to say what's going to happen so you say on this episode we're going to be talking about whatever you're going to be talking about so you just give them a, a small little uh, preview of what's going to be happening and that's going to take about uh, let's say 20 to 30 seconds the next thing that you need to do on the show is you need to talk about your sponsor uh, obviously uh, obviously I as I was saying I mean I have not really been having sponsors as such that I've been as asking for money uh, right away I just learned that uh, I mean from the very beginning is something that I didn't know but I, right now I can actually do it uh, the the right amount of money to ask per episode is about uh, is about four hundred dollars from the moment that you start and obviously the moment that you start generating more uh, more and more people on your on your show then you can ask for more for uh, for uh, more money uh, right now Andrew I was having a, a conversation with Andrew Locke the other day and he, then he was telling me that he charges five thousand dollars for sponsorship per episode and every single one of his uh, shows is actually sponsored by somebody so it's actually it's actually I mean one of the ways that he's uh, monetizing his show um, on the on the sports and on the sponsorship part um, as I was telling you what I do now is I give a uh, affiliate link with uh, naked so it's a naked uh, link no I don't show the horrible affiliate link as normally it is I will buy a nice domain and I will just put it there and for example try traffic kind of thing and that uh, this show is uh, sponsored by Traffic Geyser and if you want to find out more go to trytrafficgeyser.com so you give a, a, a bit of time for the sponsor this is just an, an important um, an important thing that you need to start getting yourself into from the very very beginning after you uh, acknowledge the sponsor the next thing that you need to do is you have to have a welcome to the show with a chit chat so you arrive there and it's exactly the same thing in every show I mean whenever you go into any show I mean they start talking about just just nonsense because of course that's basically what's going to start building rapport uh, with your audience so you can start talking about where you are and what you're doing and what you're going to be doing and just have a, a, a bit of a, a you know small talk and then after you have that little small talk to actually build a little bit of rapport next thing that you're going to be doing is you're going to have your segments uh, remember each of these segments should last anywhere between three to five minutes so if the program is going to last uh, something like about 18 minutes or 17 minutes and you have already included all this stuff so basically you have let's say 15 minutes to put some segments so in my case I will put for example the handy bookmarks and on the handy bookmarks is going to last four minutes and then I will go into uh, one app a day keeps boredom away and that's going to be another five minutes and then I go into the feature presentation and then I have already those three segments uh, there and uh, then what happens is I mean now the whole show is uh, complete I mean it's very difficult to actually insert five segments however you need to have five segments so that you will have a little bit of vari a variety on the show uh, every single every single um, uh, week then the next thing that uh, obviously I mean what you need to have is this one should be also included on every uh, on every episode is the I got a question which is basically a disguise pitch of your product you, you promoting your product 
and uh, then afterwards you're gonna uh, close and you're gonna uh, have a cliffhanger with a little bit of interaction so what you do is you say well you know next week we're gonna be talking about such and such and make sure that you show up because we're gonna have this guy that we're gonna be interviewing and then you say well you know we would really then you actually you, you ask a question what do you think of um, uh, whatever you talked about, for example, I mean, um, the, I, uh, a couple of episodes ago, I talked about this um, this resource that is called Kidney Kidney that I mentioned on the cruise. Uh, that it is about um, uh, you know that you can donate your kidney. So I said, well, if you, um, I, mean, I would really like to know what you thought of this crazy resource that I told you about um, the the uh, Kidney Kidney thing that you can actually donate your kidney. So please make sure to comment on the blog. And that, so then what you do is you do the closing, you do the cliffhanger, and then you actually ask for interaction for people to actually um, write stuff on the website itself. And then as soon as you do that, then you say, well, thank you very much. Then you say your name, and then you go into the video uh, logo outro. And every single one of your shows is going to be very similar to this. So if you have this syntax, you will be able to produce a show very, very easily, very, very um, uh, without any uh, without any problems because you will just need to follow the syntax you can just change it a little bit and if you keep it at the fast, at, at the fast pace you will see that actually it just becomes uh, very very easy the more that you actually do this um, um, every, every time that you put, you put together a, uh, a, a show now very um, important now let me just go into uh, the um, into the platform itself so that you I, I want a few things that I want to tell you a little bit about uh, first of all very important you need to treat the you need to treat the, the, the web TV show like if you are really going on TV one of the big mistakes that most people do is the fact that they uh, upload random videos into their YouTube channel that is not really a very effective strategy because of course I mean you are not uh, conditioning people to watch your show for example every for me my show is released every Wednesday uh, today I released the, uh, the the latest episode which is episode 28 well this is not the episode 28 I, the things I wanted to show you a couple of other things that are not yet that have not yet happened on 28 because of course I mean it's the interaction that I was talking to you about um, so you need to you need to say well okay my uh, show is going to be airing on Wednesdays. Don't worry about the time because, of course, I mean most of the people are going to see it on, on their um, uh, on their uh, schedule. So don't worry about the time, but it needs to be exactly the day. They say, um, uh, for example, Gary Vaynerchuk. Uh, this is just uh, this is just really crazy because uh, Gary Gary Vaynerchuk he had a daily episode. This is actually episode 1000, and I mean you can see that he's exhausted on that video. <laughs> And I mean, it is. I can imagine that it's just something very, very tiring. I mean, this is something that I definitely don't, don't recommend. Don't also recommend to go uh, for one full month because if you go for one full month, uh, obviously you are not really having enough presence to actually train uh, your audience. So the best way to do it, and that's why most of the uh, TV shows are on a weekly basis, you do a weekly show, and your weekly show, for example, mine. My every every time that I that I uh, release an episode is every Wednesday. So now people know that it's every Wednesday. Now I also I treat it so much as a, as a TV show that uh, one of the things that I have also done, and that's also one of the things that they keep on telling you. You know, you have to stick to it. I mean, you cannot just do two or three episodes. You need to say, well, you know, I need to be committed enough to do one season. The moment that you do one season, then you have already created enough uh, leverage and on, enough content to keep it going. So basically, um, uh, one season on uh, on TV is actually 24 episodes. That's why, for example, the, the TV show uh, 24 fitted perfectly because, of course, it was 24 episodes. So I did my 24 episodes, and exactly as I did on television, I actually took a few weeks off, and it was quite funny. I mean, I, as I have already trained my audience to watch the show on a regular basis. The moment that I took the three weeks off, I forgot to tell them that I was not going to be producing the show. And then suddenly that day, the, the, the Wednesday that I was supposed to, to, to uh, deliver um, episode 25, according to them, but obviously, I mean, I had already finished the season, so I was just taking a, a couple of weeks off. 
suddenly I got about three or four emails of people complaining because they did not receive their episodes. <laughs> so as you can see, what happens is that I have actually trained my audience to watch the show. So um, as, as, as you can see, now a very important thing, you can see that everything is going to be very, very similar. I will show you a little bit also so that you can see how uh, it, is, it is properly done and I'll show you um, the whole process of putting it together. This is a very, very uh, famous show. I mean, uh, uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, through this show, changed the way that uh, people consume wine in America. I mean, here in America, more, this was more of a wine drinking country, but after uh, the influence from Va Gary, it actually did become a more uh, wine drinking country. And now you can just go to any supermarket and you will see that they have aisles and aisles of wine that previously didn't have to, uh, they, they, they were not there. So obviously you can see that with a TV show, you can definitely have an, um, an impact. Another example, for example, that I always like showing is a rocket boom. Uh, rocket boom. Uh, the rocket boom is also very, uh, very similar. On uh, let me just uh, see here the video show. Let me just show here the video show. Um, if you just go here into rocket boom, this is another very important thing uh, that I wanted to show you. Most of the people ask me, uh, is the production very expensive, or or how does it work? Well, if you go, for example, to helpmybusiness.com from Andrew, uh, from Andrew Locke, Andrew obviously has a, a very expensive. Uh, equipment and also very very expensive uh, studio but in reality I mean look at what Gary Vaynerchuk has been using I mean he had this silly board in the middle and the, the New York Jets uh, spitting bucket and uh, just a, a, a white wall in the back uh, same thing happens for example in Rocket Boom uh, the girl from Rocket Boom most of the time what she has is a uh, well map in the back and that's it and uh, what I do, I mean, here in, in, my, in, in this other show that I like a lot, mydenmark.tv, um, they, they do a little bit more of stuff outside, which is also what I like to do. So in reality, it's up to you. The equipment that I use is I use my uh, Kodak EZ, uh, EZ18, which, um, uh, well, I think that's how it's called. But anyway, you know which one I'm talking about. The important thing is that you need to have a good microphone. So any camera that has a microphone, uh, a way to put to, to plug a microphone you can do you can do uh, perfectly well I mean I don't recommend you to do it with a camera without a microphone because if you do that the the noise is terrible and I tell you you can get away with bad video but you cannot get away with bad audio so that's why audio is absolutely critical if you are going to be uh, if you're going to be doing um, uh, if you're going to be doing interviews the best way to do it and this is the way I do it just buy an audio splitter for, for, for uh, earphones and that one will also work so that you will be able to have two microphones and that's all you require. So it's not really very, very uh, difficult to, to actually do that. So let me just, uh, let me just run you. The, the, um, uh, the WordPress uh, template that I use and I mean I have seen a number of TV shows using this and the reason why this one is this one is very cool is because he has a very very small uh, header uh, very not not small but you know it's very very thin header and that's that's why a lot of people like this one for the TV show so immediately you will see the the uh, the screen there so the name of it is called Robbie Williams so uh, you can I mean you just type Robbie Williams uh, Robbie Williams WordPress template and I'm sure that you will find it very very easy if not, you can decide what you're going to be using. So, but this is basically what I use. Now, what I use is I use this website as my hub uh, to promote myself. So, for example, I mean, on this page, if I go to the, uh, I have an about myself page that uh, obviously talks uh, talks about myself. So, this is just a a um, sort of like a selling kind of thing. I have an ask Ernesto, which is uh, uh, so that they will be able to ask me questions. I have a press button where I will be uh, giving away all the uh, press things that I have done. I mean, I, I've been featured anywhere from CNBC, Golf News, the College Times, the Bahrain Times, wherever you have been featured. And if you can actually just include interviews and all these kind of things, that also sells very well for you. I have here another button so that if people want to hire me for speaking. And then I have here my testimonials. That's all I have. Then obviously I have here the uh, the um, uh, opt-in opt-in box for people to to get the episode. I give away my book. I have these sponsors, which obviously these sponsors. What do you think they are? They are just affiliate links, and uh, then a way that they that people can actually connect with me. 
Um, uh, actually, you know, very funny, one of the uh, tips that I tell you is make sure that you actually have the, the Pinterest button. My goodness, I mean, right now Pinterest is really giving a lot of traffic to this site, which is just, I mean, amazing. Um, then, of course, I mean, you can tell them uh, stuff that you do, uh, people that you're connecting with. Then, I mean, this one I think is a nice one. It's a worldwide audience um, that, uh, so that they can see that, I mean, you, you know, it's social proof that people are watching you all over the place. And then third-party validators where I have my uh, cloud score and whatever. And then at the very bottom, I have the archives. I don't really talk too much about the archives because actually I do have a lazy autoresponder for people that sign up here for the, uh, for the episode. They start receiving episode one, episode two, episode three. So I don't really uh, talk too much about the, the uh, archives, but obviously I have it available uh, for them to find it whenever they, uh, they explore it. So I have here all my testimonials from a number of people, and um, then that basically uh, uh, becomes my entire uh, platform. And uh, obviously all this traffic starts generating uh, views and starts generating uh, inquiries and, and obviously I mean your your exposure is uh, very very uh, I mean it starts growing quite quite a lot so I think more or less this gives you a, a good idea of how everything works hello to David Cavanaugh and to Bonnie Terry and to Elaine and to Irina and Jason and Joseph and Phil and Robert and Sharon and Susan I hope that this uh, that this has been interesting um, is there anything, guys, that you would like to ask me? I see, okay, I see here a question. Susan, thank you. And I do have a question from Joseph. Uh, let me just open for Joseph. Joseph, Joseph, here you are. Tell me, Joseph, your, your, your microphone is open. Hi, Ernest. I'm on a computer in a cozy restaurant, so I hope you can hear me. Yeah, I can my, hear you. I can hear you, okay. This is fine. Great, okay. So my question for you is, when you mention offers in your show, I, I think you previously said that you have domains that you've registered that, that uh, sync with the uh, offers of sites, for example, um, Trafficizer. Have you considered doing either subdomains or uh, URL shorteners and uh, any disadvantages in that? Or actually, have you actually just... Uh, I'm sorry, I, I, have I considered subdomains for what? For the offers you're promoting on your show, like, it, yeah, it yeah, I mean, that a... is that is possible. Actually, I use I use a, a service called uh, Go Try This, which actually creates subdomains to mask your affiliate links. Uh, I use them to, whenever I'm talking about affiliate links. I use that, but for example, for example, what I don't use is I don't use it for the sponsors, because obviously, I mean, it doesn't. I mean, well, if you want to find out more, go to a subdomain it doesn't really look very good. I mean, you have to actually give a, a, a proper domain. If you actually see, for example, uh, uh, CV, how is it called, C, uh, the, the, the show where they are always talking about, um, uh, mark, I mean, they're always doing uh, pr uh, advertising products, C, CVS or CVS, whatever it's called, that network. Uh, always, they, always they give you, for example, they don't give you the, the affiliate link, but they will say, try my, uh, my, whatever it is, I mean, like, try whatever product or try whatever. So always I put the word my or the word try or I try to come up with a .NET or whatever or whatever the product is because, of course, that's, that sounds a little bit more uh, professional if that somehow makes sense. Sure. But for, for, the domains of the, for the domains that I use for, for, um, uh, for affiliates, I definitely give a, a subdomain. That's great, Ernesto. Yeah. Thank you. And how many hours do how many hours do you invest per show in, in planning, prepping, putting things together before that show actually airs? That's that's an absolutely that's a very very good question that I didn't go through. Um, the the uh, more or less putting the show together it takes about three hours uh, a week uh, from from beginning to end. I mean, but I have to tell you very very honestly when I got started. Uh, it was actually taking me up to a day because I didn't really know how to uh, get all these things done. So, for example, what I have done now is I have given you the syntax. After watching so many shows, now I know what the syntax is. I mean, I just went step by step so that I know exactly how, how, how the show needs to be put. And it doesn't matter which show you see, you're going to see that there's a, a very similar version of it. So it took me a lot longer. Right now, I mean, all I need to do is, for example, I, I, I have my camera all the time. 
and uh, I have a little tripod. And uh, I mean, because I like sh I, I like shooting outside. I mean, I do my own shots. I mean, I don't require uh, anyone to do the shots for me. And uh, I record, uh, let's say, three uh, three sections only of talking about um, uh, talking about the resources. Three, talk three segments about talking about the the apps. And uh, then what I do is I just put the whole things together. Now also what I do is I also I also delegate uh, the whole thing. So I send all the videos and then someone else does the editing for me. But at the very beginning, you need to do the editing yourself because if you do not know how the editing is done, then it's very difficult to delegate it. But the moment that you know how to do it, then it's actually quite easy to delegate. So that's a great question. Thanks. My final question, Ernesto, and thank you for this. This is great. A lot of great content. Phenomenal. Um, final question is when you're, when you're in front of the camera, what are you using as far as... Um, I forget the name of the device, but as far as reading content bullet points as you're communicating it, like what what sort of instrument? Like I have a, I have a colleague of mine who uses an, an iPad with a remote control and the bullet points, and he um, he speaks those out. What do you use specifically, or you, you mean uh, like a teleprompter kind of thing? Exactly. Did you have your own version of teleprompter? Well, um, I, I, what I do is, um, I mean, I try to be as spontaneous as possible because, of course, I mean, I have tried both, and uh, people told me that, uh, I mean, they prefer to listen to my uh, funny accents and the way that I actually use my words and uh, the, the small little mistakes that I do here and there, that that actually adds to the charm. Uh, that, that, that those mistakes I would not have if I would actually be reading out of a teleprompter. So I, I, uh, I am not using it. There's, I don't remember the name of the product, but I used to use just regular, just type, uh, just type, uh, turn your, turn your, um, I don't remember what it is, but anyway, you can actually turn your, your screen into a teleprompter. So you can just type in Google how to turn your screen into a teleprompter. And then I, I used to read in front of me. I don't like it because also it just looks a little bit odd. Uh, I, I mean, I don't have the equipment. So I, I, but for example, whenever I'm going to be reading something, what I try to do is instead of me being on the shot, what I do is I actually put slides. So I normally used to do this when I'm going to be saying, on this episode, we're going to be talking about this, this, and this, and that. What I do is I, I just read it, record the audio, and then just put the pictures of, uh, that makes sense of what I'm actually talking about. But uh, it depends, it's up to you. But there's, I mean, there's a number of tools that you can use for a, for a teleprompter. I, don't, I just don't use any, any of them because everybody tells me that they prefer also to listen to my uh, accent and the way that I actually use the English language, <laughs> which I thought it was, a, it was a, something that was not very nice, but apparently people liked. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, man. This, this, yeah. is, this is great. Very kind of rich uh, call. Uh, it, it, is it being recorded by chance, or is yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, I get it. I, I get it recorded, and I, I just I will post the the um, I will post it later on. Thank you. I, I missed the first few minutes of that, so thank you. Yeah, That's no great. problem. Perfect. Nice talking to you, Joseph. Bye. Likewise. Excellent. All right. Well, if there's no more questions, then I'm going to just close the uh, platform. Uh, it's been great talking to you. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, always feel free to, to let me know. I'll be glad to help you uh, in uh, whichever way, shape, or form you want. So do let me know, and I'll gladly um, help you. All right. So have a, uh, have a great evening, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.